Hello, I am Marco, co-founder and CTO at Futureverse. Today I want you to come with me on your first journey in the metaverse, uh, discover the RU network and the Futureverse technology. Futureverse is a leader in the revolutionary AI, Web3 and metaverse technology. Was born from the merge of 11 different companies with uh, uh, bringing together a diverse set of products, IPs and knowledge. But all of them are pieces of the same vision. Starting from the Rune Network as the foundation of our, of our technology stack, the Rune Network is more than just a blockchain. Um, the Rune Network enables seamless user experience and interoperability of assets and intelligence across the open metaverse. So what is the metaverse? You may not realize it, but you live in the metaverse already. In today's world, the digital and real life are very much interconnected. For Futureverse, the metaverse is an internet protocol of identity, image ability and interoperability. It's not a game, it's not an headset, it's not just a device, and it's not even just a blockchain or NFTs. So these are the three main focus areas for Futureverse technology. Identity, imaginability and interoperability. The Metaverse concept, vision, uh, is about creating a unified and uh, uh, immersive experience uh, that breaks down barriers uh, um, in users' interaction. And because of that, to provide identity and to empower users, uh, we created, implemented, defined uh, new standards, uh, new protocols uh, and uh, different products, uh, tools uh, that allow developers uh, to um, enrich their own projects, uh, but also end users uh, to be able to contribute to the creation of content for the open metaverse. Our own experience in creating, rendering, optimizing assets and distributing collectibles has taught out a few things about how to implement these tools and how to prepare the um, SDKs and support the developers in their own journey. First topic, of course, uh, is the user-owned identity. It's uh, important to give the control of their own data and their own personality to the users themselves. And uh, in the context of virtual worlds in the metaverse, uh, identity is even more complex set of digital persona, representations, avatars, usernames, but also all of the different relationships uh, that the, that the users create uh, with other users. Identity in the metaverse allows users to express themselves, explore different aspects of their own personality and establish social relationships that otherwise they wouldn't be available for them in the real world and in the virtual world. So PASS is the metaverse passport. It's simple safeguards consumer data, it offers uh, loyalty, collectibles, tokens, uh, a way to set uh, permissions and delegations to applications and to games and experiences to act on behalf of the users, still leaving the full control to the users themselves. Developers can leverage uh, our past SDK and examples uh, to integrate PASS into their projects uh, enabling users uh, to onboard simply and safely, pass or free. And to begin your journey, you start from wherever you are already. If you are a Web3 user, you know about uh, wallets, uh, private keys, public keys. Uh, if you are an XRPL user, if you are a TRN or any other blockchain user, you can find uh, an option to use your wallet already to log in and pass. But most importantly, if you don't know anything about Web3, you are still able to log in and authenticate in PASS using your email or your social login. 
Now, about uh, imaginability, we define it as the capacity to form vivid mental images of concepts of things that were not yet experienced. This means giving an opening up to your own creativity. We believe that the metaverse is what happens to the internet itself when the users have the power of AI to create their own internet experience with. And so the internet evolves into the metaverse thanks to the contribution of each individual user that generates anything that they can imagine using powerful tools powered by AI. The third area of focus for the Futureverse platform is all about interoperability. How can you bring your own content wherever you go in the digital world? Is it something like, do you really want to own something that you can't take with you? You participate to a game, you win on a game, you receive your rewards on a game. You can't take that reward outside. Rewards can be something that, you can, that your avatar can, equip, can be equipped with, like a jacket, a sword, and then everything that you win in a game remains within that game. You move to a different game, you move to a different experiences, they will not follow you. So you have to leave behind everything else that are not compatible with a new experience, with a new game. This is about interoperability, about continuity for the users to, and, and availability of the users to really bring their stuff around with them. And for that we have created our asset uh, uh, register that really allows to ensure assets and data interoperability across different games and experiences. The metaverse is just much more than games. It's all about the data that these games process. The hype on the metaverse was mostly based on what was shown in the movies. But actually, what's important about the metaverse is the real data behind it. Assets in Web3 are very much restricted by their linear data composition. Each asset, NFT, SFTs, typically only has one corresponding metadata. And there is no way to create connections between assets in different ecosystems or different games, different experiences. Current systems tend to rely on specific chains, preventing asset relationships across different networks. And also, the primary focus of on-chain assets, overlooking off-chain ones, really prevent the users to, and the developers to go beyond what is the current possibilities. So achieving interoperability for both types of assets across various applications is a challenging goal, but very, very necessary for the evolution of the Internet. The Asset Register addresses these challenges uh, and supports uh, interesting uh, new use cases for developers uh, and for users. So you can equip accessories to certain main assets, uh, like uh, if you want to equip uh, your uh, main character with a new jacket, with a new hat, uh, with new accessories. It allows to manage uh, which collections are compatible with uh, all and different accessories and also man make sure that the applications remain um, compliant to what was the original goal and the original design of the creators of the avatars and of the accessories still maintaining compatibility for the different engines both game engines applications engines or experiences engines and frameworks and as an example uh, in pass in the past dashboard, uh, you can see and you have access directly to your all of your assets across multiple chains. In this case, we have assets coming from the Rune Network, XRPL Ledger, or Ethereum, all in the same uh, application and dashboard. Furthermore, when we work with uh, uh, 3D assets, uh, 
we need to make sure that these accessories are compatible across multiple collections. But multiple collections means also different body types, different forms of the main characters. We are not only staying within one single humanoid collection. So we are able to create relationships between collectibles, accessories, assets and user data. Now we have to make sure that these assets are also compatible with the different type of forms, uh, body forms and shapes. And therefore we implemented a new um, toolkit, a comprehensive toolkit for swappables and wearables. And we created a couple of examples with our own collections where um, you can modify the configuration of your original NFT. We took the original NFT, we decomposed it in multiple collections, the main character plus all of the accessories, clothing, eyewear, etc. And then give the option to the users to choose how to reconfigure their cart and how to create their own avatar in the way that they prefer. In the same way, we also have uh, uh, beyond the humanoid body shape, um, objects uh, like cars can be defined as a collection of different uh, um, parts and uh, the users can choose which part to put together to create and customize their proper card. It's important to remember that changing the different configuration will also impact the final characteristics of the card. If uh, or the car, if this car is uh, this car is good in, as a top speed uh, acceleration, but it's quite bad in off-road, for example. This means that it will not be a good car to play if I'm playing a race uh, on the dirty roads or so on. But if I change wheels on these cars, I can gain more on, on off-road, maybe uh, losing a little bit of top speed, but at the end it will be a better configuration for running and racing on dirty roads. And furthermore, we have also AI interoperability. It's important to remember that the future of the open metaverse is to enable all NFTs, all assets, to be eventually intelligent. This opens up for a set of new autonomous agents at the forefront of digital experience and applications. We define the non-fungible intelligence uh, on top of the standards of the NFTs. This is achieved attaching metadata, intelligent metadata and attributes defined by the ASM AI protocol to the assets themselves. It opens up the option to define new statistics, new and emotional palette, personality directly attached to the NFT and to the asset. And even further, this allows to attach a layer of consciousness to the metaverse. This means that for players and metaverse citizens, the Moomo metrics enables a unique evolving and emotional contextual context where the experiences can contribute to the users themselves contribute to the gameplay or the game loop, to the game experience of the players. But also the agents and the assets, the, the component of these digital and virtual worlds, can interact um, and add an additional layer of subjectivity and intention and individuality to the game itself. So, and for the games and the experience creators, it's really offering a complete new layer of uh, functionality, interactivity, um, creativity to the games that they are preparing and creating. Goes beyond anything that has been created and, and produced until now. So the game now offers a level of intelligence that really can evolve the game and the game experience in time. So Futureverse uh, at the end is enabling the interoperability at three different layers. One is the data via the rule network, the pass for the identity and the asset register. Then there is the content 
enables users to create new content, their own content, via our product like Doc, Gen, Altered State, but also the swappables where the users can customize their characters, and now a new completely framework and standard called the UBF, the Universal Blueprint Framework. And then the third is at the intelligence level via the ASM protocol, AI protocol, and uh, the Moomoo matrix. Thank you very much. Um, remember that we are not building the future, you are.